Hello there, this is Snope Name. It's been a while since I uploaded uh, videos. Um, it's currently exam time at university. And since I have some difficulties um, to get prepared for the next exam, I decided to work on this project again. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, in the last video about this uh, project, MC64, um, I demonstrated to you um, how it can run a program called the Briesenham algorithm that draws a line between two points. But I didn't have a working screen at that time. So that program simply, um, yeah, <coughs> printed the um, coordinates in chat um, with these numbers here in between. So you can see the separated coordinates. And I had to draw it here to, um, demonstrate that it actually is a line. Anyways, I now have a working screen. I only have implemented the most basic features yet uh, so far, but um, yeah, you can see this program just generated this line here, but let's um, remove it again <coughs> and edit the program. This is Pretty much the same program as I showed in the previous video. Oh, and in case you don't know what's going on here, <laughs> um, I'm working on a virtual computer inside Minecraft only using functions and NBT data in Minecraft. So the code of the actual game isn't modified. Um, if you download this map, it will, uh, there's a map download in the description, not for this version, unfortunately, though because it's still in development, so you won't have a screen. But if you download it, you can write programs <coughs> uh, and you can calculate numbers and print them in chat. And um, yeah, you only have to install the world and nothing else, no other mods or stuff like that. All right, so this is the program, the Briesenham algorithm. This is kind of the main uh, function here, it simply sets the coordinates and then calls the actual function that um, yeah runs the algorithm. <coughs> um, here it is. It gets these four parameters, x and y for the start and the stop location. And then it will do some calculation and eventually it has um, the new um, coordinates and it will print them out in chat. And now I'm going to remove these commands, excuse me, that will print the numbers in chat <coughs> because that creates quite some lag. And I will only um, use this command here, which will set a pixel at the calculated coordinate with the color number five, which is lime green. And at the end, I will also remove this and we can compile it. Everything is okay. And now let's run it again. And you can see it generated that line over here. <coughs> and it took about 250 milliseconds to do that. At least if my, um, you know, time detection thing is working correctly. And yeah, now we can change the values. <coughs> um, X1 equals, let's say, 23. And Y1 equals, mm, zero. <coughs> Let's run it again. And um, we should create a different line. And it does. Um, the second point didn't change. So it goes towards the same point here, but it started at a different location. Um, yeah. So now, um, 
I'm going to remove this call function <clears throat> so it won't actually execute the function down here. Instead, I will now use the internal virtual GPU, how I call it. Um, <clears throat> let's see. And yeah, it has an integrated function that uh, draws lines. That can draw lines. And I think, I hope, it's more efficient than the algorithm implemented inside this MC Basic program. I'm calling this programming language MC Basic. And now I lost track of variables yes okay that's uh, good and why and for the color let's set it to one and now it should only <coughs> run this short function here and it should draw a line in orange um, it should draw the same line here as we saw before and it did only it didn't um, draw the first pixel I have to change that and you can see that it only took uh, 7 milliseconds instead of 250 because running such a um, program here uh, requires a lot of Minecraft commands in the background to run I don't know exactly but I think if you have one command with a few parameters here um, it might run something like 100 Minecraft commands or something like that now, of course, implementing such an algorithm directly in Minecraft functions in, with Minecraft commands, it's a lot more efficient than doing it like this. Um, 120, yes, and let's run it again. And now it will go that way. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show in this video. Um, here I have some a few more um, new commands but they don't actually work I um, if you click here it says yeah missing command um, you could fill the whole screen with a color that actually works or you can copy such a screen from this memories uh, thing here um, to this position but so far you have to do that manually using that command. I will implement that later. So far that's a missing command. Um, yeah, but that's a cool thing I wanted to show you. Um, yeah, you can draw lines on the display and you can either um, you know, implement it using MC Basic like this, which is kind of slow or you can use the internal GPU function which will do the same thing but a lot more efficient. <clears throat> Alright that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah see you next time. Bye!